Oh my gosh. I am so excited to be here. I got I got to let you know last night, Ben, Nodder, Ryan, and Lisa, your call last night, our messenger chat on our team was blowing up. Okay. We do three things on our team. And then I'm going to get into my training. We get some products. We get plugged into the Thursday and Friday calls. And we get to bronze because when you get to bronze, you get to be a blessing. That's all we do here. When you get to bronze, you ask yourself, who are your two favorite humans? Go and bless them. Amen. That's all we do in Live Good. So I'm like, what's my favorite product? I have no idea. I'm a high performer. I use them all. I'm like, more is better. Like, I, I, how could you even? I use them all. It's so amazing. Britt, you just said something. The heart posture. My training today is how to posture up and become, and this is a word I've never used before, but I was talking to my friend yesterday about it. And we're, we're, we're talking about our personal development. I want you to become unbotherable. When you listen to our trainers last night, they are unbotherable. What does that mean? Unbotherable. The dictionary says not experiencing mental discomfort. Indifferent to criticism or negative comments, not annoyed or provoked. Okay, Robin Sharma, one of my favorite mentors, he says this. Now listen to this. Do not disrespect your creator by being busy with unimportant distractions or endeavors. Do not disrespect your creator by being busy with unimportant distractions or endeavors. Let's add to unimportant distraction endeavors what other people think of you. Let's add to unimportant distraction endeavors the nose that you might get, the attachment to outcome. So how do you become unbotherable? Another way to think about it this in live good, how do you become confident, have posture, have belief, be resilient, be devoted, be convicted? Be unshakable. It's very, very simple. Three Ps. The first is power up your passion. How do you power up your passion? You get on the calls. I am about to lose my ever loving mind. And I have been here for six months. I, I, I am about to lose my mind on these calls. I don't come here because I don't understand what I'm doing and live good. I come here to power up my passion. I, I, okay, so how do you power up your passion? You skill up. Well, we, you learn how to send a tour, okay? You educate yourself. You learn these numbers. You learn these numbers. When you learn these numbers from Ben and Nodder, you can't, you can't not be posturable. I am unbotherable. When people come to me and ask me any question about live good, I always have a great, I always have great news. That's what I mean. I don't know the answers. I have good news. I am unbotherable. You cannot shake me. There's nothing but good news here. You plug in and you get on the products. That's how you power up your passion for this. And that's a job that only you can do. No one can do that for you. Okay. The second thing, you protect your purpose. I am so crystal clear on my purpose. I'm unbotherable. So how do you do that? You keep it on the dashboard of your brain. You tell everyone you know, this is my mission to set the captives free. This is my mission to live in Cabo because I have helped so many people that I get to live in Cabo and have guacamole with Garth. Like that's my mission. Everyone knows. The lady at the grocery store, Ada, my checkout lady, she goes, how are you in Cabo yet? Have you built your house? I'm like, okay, that's ridiculous. Everyone knows Dr. Aaron's mission. Like, but you've got to protect your purpose. You ask yourself, does this get me closer to insert dream? Okay. And then last you power up your productivity. What the heck do I mean by that? If productivity is moving the needle on the things that matter most, you power up how many tour takers you're getting. That's all we do. And you have got to behave your way there. You cannot sit here and get posture. You have to behave your way there. You have to behave your way to different thinking instead of trying to think your way to different behaving. If you do not have posture around this company, I say this in love. It just means you haven't shared it with enough people. That it's believe me, trust me, have faith in this, and let me know 30 days from now if that's not if that's not the case. You simply have not shared this with enough people. So become unbotherable. It's about to get giggly good, everybody. Thank you.